Will, do you have your appointment ready for tomorrow outside brunch style for Mother's Day with the umbrella? The guy to talk to about all of this, his name is Jeff Ray. <laughs> I felt like you were looking right at me when That's you asked right. that question. Uh, right. No, I haven't. Uh, let's, let's talk about this rain, uh, Steve. We, we had a really good chance of rain last night in, in the Metroplex and then through the day today. What happened? Well, here's the last 24 hours. Scott Padgett and myself were sitting here last night watching these line of thunderstorms approach the Metroplex and really didn't even get there. Uh, we all saw through the afternoon hours even some blue sky in the middle of the day. Turned out to be a pretty good Saturday and it was just like a rain shield just sitting over North Texas protecting us from this 60 to 80 percent chance of rain we had in the forecast today. Uh, coming up the 45 corridor is a little bit of rain. I think this activity will likely pick up through the overnight hours. So there still might be a chance for some free water showing up before the night is done and getting into tomorrow morning. But this is time lapse. You notice that blue sky midday and the clouds across the afternoon. But the Metroplex for the most part stayed dry. Current conditions right now it is 75 degrees. The dew points at 62. So it's a little humid out there has been the story of late. There's not a whole lot of wind. Pleasant enough evening despite the humidity. So here are the next three days. The first alert weather forecast calls for temperatures each day in the 80s. And yes, humidity will be a factor probably all the way to Tuesday until a weak cold front comes through. But notice uh, the rain chances. They don't diminish. They're 30% every day. So no day of washout, no day big uh, severe weather threat or anything like that. But Underneath these thunderstorms could be some very heavy rain through the overnight hours. Like I said, a little pickup of the activity. And then let's run forward till noon tomorrow. I, it probably will not be this widespread, but there'll be some showers around across the afternoon and evening, especially in our eastern county seems to be the favored view. But oh man, a 20 to 40 percent storm chance every day this week. Just look inside the box here. There's uh, as we go into Monday. Here's as we go into Tuesday. This is how it looks on Wednesday morning. Uh, this is how it looks going into Friday. Notice a weak front coming through and helping rain chances as we go into to Friday and hopefully that front clearing us out a little bit by the time we get into next weekend. But until then, we're going to be stuck with some wet weather around. You can see that we're really starting to put a dent into the drought that does stretch uh, into parts of our western counties. In fact, there's exceptional drought down the 35 corridor. And what this is right here is over the next seven days where we think the big rain will be. So some areas in Texas will get the rain, but I think that one to two inch amounts will probably be over by Collin County down in Navarro County. We are looking at below normal temperatures, by the way, with these rain chances. This is day six through 10. Next week, below average temperatures are anticipated, but you can see very average temperatures this week with the rain chances hovering, like I said, almost every day, 20, 30%, and sometimes up to 40, but we'll be in the mid 80s, overnight lows in the 60s, a very consistent weather pattern. I was just thinking that's a little low for us for mid-May, but I'll take it. Jeff, thank you.